All right. Uh, before I put out the uh, instructions for um, or my lesson, rather, I'm sorry. I wanted to make sure that you understood when I talked about Google Classroom, you just can't go on there using your adult uh, password. You actually have to use the kid's username and password. Their, their usernames um, are their, is their uh, email address, which should be 27, period, first name, period, last name, at lcss.us. And their password is their L number. And if you do need the L number, or if maybe your L number is not working right, just uh, hit me up uh, a message. I can look it up from my home computer, and I can give it right back to you. But it's there. If you look on my screen right here, you're going to have um, their login, like when they first open up their Chromebook, they're just going to have a regular uh, login. They'll put in their email address and their username. When they open up, they can go to a website. If it doesn't take them there automatically, it's called Clever. And it should take them there automatically because they are, that's the system that we use. So they'll log in using their Google account. So I'm going to log in and just show you what it looks like. All right, theirs is going to look a little bit different since mine's the educator version, but they have different favorites up here and they have the district Google apps. And what they do is they'll just click on the Google Classroom app. And once they go there, of course, this is the teacher version, but your child should have They'll have one for Miss Brown. Uh, it's her ELA, but they should have two from me. They'll have more science or Brown science and then math. Uh, the assignments from this are going to be science unless I tell you otherwise. So like if I just click on more science and go down, you'll see I have, this is their Google slide. Just click on that and it will actually give you where you can pick that up and then you have your quizzes just click on one of the quizzes 